Welcome to BizJet TV, my name is Fabrizio Pauli. Today we're going to be talking about the Aerion AS2 project. I did talk about Supersonic a few weeks ago, and if you haven't checked that video out, Positive News for Supersonic Travel, there's a link above, and I'll put, post the link at the end of the video as well. But there's some great news in an environment right now where there's a lot of bad news in the aviation industry because of COVID-19, lots of 90% uh, of the airliners are grounded right now, they're not flying, 70% of private jets are grounded. They're not flying much because, you know, deals can't be done, but deals are being done. And the deal I'm about to talk to you today is about Aerion securing a new facility to build their supersonic private jet. They were looking at uh, West Coast United States. They're looking at East Coast United States, and they decided to do a deal with Melbourne International Airport in Florida, um, where Embraer have their factory as well. Embraer is a manufacturer from Brazil. They build some great private jets and they manufacture them in Melbourne, Florida. And so Aaron have done a deal with the airport, with the um, governor of Florida to move from Reno, Nevada over to Florida. And the reason being they needed a, an area which was over an ocean. So that's why they were looking at, you know, West Coast or East Coast, um, because that's where they're going to do most of the flight testing is going to be over the ocean. Because uh, of the regulations and stuff like that, they don't want to disturb people, so they can launch out supersonic over the ocean, and that's what they're going to be doing. So they're investing three hundred million dollars into building a sixty-acre facility at the airport, which has a nine thousand uh, foot runway, which is nice and long, which is good. They're going to be employing over six hundred and seventy-five people. So here we go, where uh, people are losing their jobs in aviation. Here's a company that, in a time right now, announcing they're going to be employing six hundred and seventy-five people. So if you are out of a job right now I would certainly knock on Ariel's door and see if they will entertain giving you an interview and giving you a chance and they're going to start building the airplane in 2023 and they're going to start flight testing and their first flight will happen in 2024 that's the schedule right now so interesting time uh, for Arion uh, for supersonic it's great to hear this news uh, you know I'm a big fan of you know supersonic air travel and hypersonic and hope to see this happen in the next five to ten years I certainly think it will um, if you haven't seen the, the uh, well, first of all, comment below. Uh, I want to hear what you think about all this. Give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to BizJet TV, I encourage you to subscribe to this channel. And also check out the video I mentioned in the beginning, Positive News for Supersonic Travel, all about the regulations which are about to change. And that's one of the things that's put the, 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 the brakes on this whole supersonic development. There's been regulations, but they are about to change. And I did say this back three or four years ago. Uh, well, that's starting to happen now. So check it out. Positive news for supersonic travel. And that's all from Fabrizio Poli on BizJet TV. And I'll see you on the next one.